Hello, everyone. Welcome to week five. The five. I think it's week five of the Pokemon Battle League. I am Cheryl, uh, coach of the Weedles. Uh, this week I was up against Casey, coach of the Squirrel Squad. Um, I opened with Queen Bean, uh, just because I've been opening with Queen Bean a lot lately. I just like being able to get that Mega Evolution off um, immediately from the beginning. Um, and yeah, that's sort of what I went with, which I'm kind of glad I half expected him to leave with Araquanid. Um, which, speaking of Araquanid, that was kind of my downfall, uh, for this week. Um, it was a, it was a rough, it was a rough battle. Uh, he got an aerial ace off and that hurt a fuck ton, uh, but I sort of expected that and went for a synthesis. Um, just immediately so that I could just, you know, knew he w I knew I would be able to survive it and then could just heal up immediately after and then uh, have a Mega Evolved um, Venusaur out uh, and then switched out next into um, uh, Bronzong, which allowed him to get free stealth rocks up. Uh, but Bronzong can scare out Aerodactyl and instead he immediately goes to Scuba Steve. Um, and I get my rocks off, but Scuba Steve here. Uh, does not do me many good. Uh, the sticky web. Sticky web is what I'm saying. Sticky web is what kind of fucked me up this whole time. Um, I knew he had a Raquinid, and I guess it was a problem on my part, like a fault on my part, for not bringing enough to just get rid of uh, the sticky web. Um, because, I mean, as you'll see, it's not a very long battle. Um, he also didn't <laughs> bring anyone I really expected. I mean, he brought, like, some pretty much expected. Like, I, I, I expected the Latias, um, definitely 100%. That's what I knew was gonna be brought. Um, and I think that there was someone else. Oh, I expected Nidoqueen as well. Um, but yeah, I get out Starmie. I have the light screen up, um, so I can, and, uh, the reflect up, and I can use my rapid spin to get rid of that, um, them webs and rocks around me, uh, and I survive a leech life, but this kinda hurt, and this was, I think, the main major, uh, misplay on my part, which was that I left Starmie in, um, to try and get the Thunderbolt off. Uh, I wasn't doing any calcs, uh, my way that I was looking at it was, like, I absolutely 100% need to get rid of this, um, uh, Araquanid, uh, so that I could not leave the sticky webs off, uh, sticky webs up, but, um, instead, that's not what I did. Instead, I just went for the, uh, super effective move, instead of just switching Starmie out, um, uh, which is allowed Starmie to die fast enough, um, which sucked. It sucked a lot. Uh, Fidget Spins dies. And that kind of sealed the deal on the whole thing, on the whole situation. Um, because with my one rapid spinner gone and, uh, uh, Araquanid still alive, there was not a lot that I could do. Um, managed to get Coco out here, uh, predicting that Mega Aerodactyl or, uh, Araquanid, um, and, uh, knew that he would probably switch into Nidoqueen, so I just went for a U-turn, I believe. Yeah, I went for a U-turn on this one. Just got the bike out of there. Um, yeah, I did- this is the first time watching the battle since then, and I'm not very proud of it. I mean, th there wasn't a lot I could do. Casey obviously came very prepared for whoever I brought to my team. Uh, and when someone just prepares well enough and, like, knows- 100% a lot more what they're gonna be doing. Um, it's just I, I get outplayed. He was out prepared and I got outplayed. Earthquake does fuck all. Yeah, that was the thing, is I brought Earthquake on um, Bronzong, I put Hidden Power Ground on uh, Volcarona, just super prepared for um, 
Magneton or Heatran, and uh, none of those, neither of those showed up this week, which is kind of, I pretty heavily, like, prepared for those two OUs, and then he did not bring either of them. Um, I brought Crocodile Scarfed, uh, not that it was going to make a difference at this point in time, um, because uh, the Sticky Web managed to get back up before, you know, I could finish him off, which is what sucked. Uh, a lot. There, there was not a lot that I could do. Now, now the Sticky Web was up and my whole team was slower than his team. Um, the only Levitator I had, or like Flyer I had, was Bronzong, and um, yeah, that's not gonna- that's a base 30 speed on that boy, uh, so that's not gonna do a whole fucking lot. Um, and yeah. Got the screens up. This was- this was just me sort of waiting it out. I mean, I tried my hardest. I can certainly say that much. Uh, after I got the sticky webs up, I was like, okay, maybe I can try and use Bronzong to get some screens up. Um... So that even if I outslow, maybe they can't do a lot of damage. Um, so I got my light screen up. Uh, yeah. I mean, this is just where it hits like a period of silence as I'm waiting through the whole battle. Uh, just because not a whole lot happened. You turned. Doesn't really matter. Uh, and then he sends out Fat Pikachu. Which is fine. I get my, um, reflect up, and, I mean, I know, I know, know basically the gist of what Azumarill does. Uh, it could do other things, certainly. We've seen it do other things, but, like, obviously pretty hard prepared for. Um, a belly drum, uh, but that's why I had Queen Bean here. Uh, could answer it pretty, pretty easily. Does not want to take a sludge bomb. Also his cheek bomb. Because of the sticky web. There you go, he goes for a belly drum. Um, does not have a barrier or anything on him. Uh, but I've also got, still got the reflect up. Uh, and yeah, I've got a pretty good answer up. And so, yeah, he throws out Blondie, Latias, and Latias does, to, to spoiler alert, Latias does not switch out for the rest of the whole entire thing. Uh, which kind of fucking blows. Uh, so yeah, I think, okay, he's probably running a Calm Mind set, and so I try and go for a knockoff here. Um, but, as you can see, the knockoff isn't gonna do uh, a lot at all. No, certainly not enough. Not enough that I would've wanted it to do. Um, and then I probably could've gone for another move here, uh, but instead, what I did was kind of fuck myself, because if I went for another move here, um, the game might have been a little different. I probably still would have watched if you see what happens later. Um, but instead I managed to let Latias get another Call Mind off, and... Ouch, is all I'm gonna say on that one. Uh, he had the right moves on his Latias to just handle my whole team. Uh, Shadow Ball could immediately take out Bronze on, uh, and it did <laughs> before I could try and get another, like, screen up. Um, and then... Uh, here comes TikTok the crocodile being like, oh, oh, I don't know math at all, but I know he's scarfed, and I don't know what Latias necessarily has, but of course it has Surf. Um, that's pretty great. <laughs> and so yeah, Surf takes out the crocodile. Um, and yeah, I mean, Queen Bean, here we come. Of course, just be like, okay, what's that last move it has? Is it Psychic? And yes, of course it's Psychic. Of course it's Psychic. I thought, uh, oh, maybe I'm bulky enough, but no, not with a plus two special attack lot. Yes, that's not bulky enough at all. Um, and yeah, here comes the Mothman, and this is where I meant that maybe it could have made a difference if I went for another knockoff instead of switching out. But I, did ex I didn't expect another Calm Mind, uh, which maybe I should have. But he uses Surf, and uh, something I almost completely forgot is that I actually had a Sash on my uh, Volcarona. And so I get a Bug Buzz off, and it just does just a little too little to him. Uh, I think if I had gone for that knockoff and gotten that knockoff off uh, earlier, I could have at least taken out Latias and then still outslowed his whole team. Um, <laughs> 
But at least I would have taken out the Latias and it would have been a 6 2. But yeah. Here comes Miller Light. Uh, can Miller Light take a Psychic? Probably not. Probably not at all. That's it. That's the game. Casey did a Casey 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 did a good job. That's all I can say. Casey did a really good job. Um, Casey prepared probably a lot better than I did. Um, like I said, I guess I just prepared hardcore for things that he just did not end up bringing. Um, uh, I had obviously like a scarfed Moxie Crocodile, which I thought could have got, gotten a lot of stuff done had it not um, had a. Uh, the sticky web had I just like prepared a bit more for that or at least kept Starmie alive um, long enough. If I kept Starmie alive long enough, I I had other answers for the uh, Araquanid that I could have taken out I, easily. Um, and so I, I think I was a little too careless with that one. And then, yeah, uh, he just had exactly the right moves to bring on um, Latias just to take care of everyone that I brought this week. So... It was a really good battle. Casey did a really, really good job, uh, and that's all I really have to say on that one. So, uh, playing battle in Raul next. Uh, I'm hoping to have an equally as good match. I kind of consider Raul a little bit of a rival, or at least like a step up for me. Uh, so I'm really hoping I win this one because last season I lost to him twice, uh, and that last loss is what kept me from going to the finals. Uh, so I'm hoping that I can redeem myself for both of those losses that I had last season, and, uh, you know, we'll find out. Coming for you, Raul. I know we just agreed that we're friends now, but I'm coming for you. Okay, that's it, bye. For ya. Okay, that's it, bye. For ya.